Trita Parsi with the analysis there. As Netanyahu was making his speech, the nuclear talks with Iran were resuming in Switzerland. But progress remains elusive. Iran's foreign minister calls U.S. proposals excessive and illogical. CCTV's Richard Bestick has the latest from Montreux. The negotiations here on the banks of a placid Lake Geneva are an uphill climb. At a critical stage with the possibility they're headed for a precipice. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry reflects as he takes a break from the talks. Working away, he says, quickly adding, productively. A more downbeat message from Iran's Foreign Minister Jawad Zarif. He called Obama's proposal for a 10-year freeze on sensitive nuclear research unacceptable. As we have said all along, we need the necessary political will to understand that the only way to move forward is through negotiations. The U.S. and their negotiating partners, China, Russia, Britain, France and Germany, want a verifiable system that will prevent Iran producing nuclear weapons, something Iran can go along with. Simple. So what could possibly be standing in their way? It's a matter of trust, according to the U.S. president. It is important for them to understand that they have a high threshold that they have to meet in terms of proof and convincing the world uh, that they're prepared to not pursue a nuclear program. At one level, that could translate into sanctions against Iran continuing even after a deal is struck, something observers say would be unsellable to Iranian hardliners in Tehran. That said, these talks are the best they've been for a long time, according to German Foreign Minister Frank-Walter Steinmeier in Geneva. Der E3 plus 3 mit dem Iran. I would even go so far as to say that in 10 years of negotiations, we never achieve as much progress as we have made this year. So, traces of optimism there, but all the clocks of Switzerland are ticking as the deadline looms. And in that hotel behind me, the negotiators will be hearing them louder than anyone. Richard Bestick, CCTV at the Iran nuclear talks in Montreux, Switzerland.